so with it on max it only runs a few seconds and the battery cuts out We can tell that we don't want to go in there to where the cells are. If you can see the shiny silver in there. Uh, going crossways in here. So we know that this battery um, was acting like, even though it was fully charged, it was acting like the uh, the voltage was dropping out. But if we go across every single cell, we're getting 3.9 volts, like it's really close to fully charged. Even though I would run it just a few seconds in max mode, the vacuum would cut off. And if I take it out of max mode, it actually run for a couple minutes. But to be fair, this battery is probably about seven years old. So it's, it's uh, been charged and used quite a good bit around the house. So it's the only battery that we had. So it definitely was the one that got used a lot. I'm going to see if I can load it down and see if a particular cell drops down low. So I have this battery supplying a DC uh, buck regulator, a buck converter. And this DC buck converter, I have it limited to about 3 amps. And it's about 20.8 volts going in and 7 volts out. Sorry, the, uh, the screen showing a flicker here. The, the LED uh, display is not flickering. Well, it is flickering, but at the rate my eyes can't see it. The camera's picking it up. But we have, uh, without the voltage drop across these small leads here, we have a... Still about 22 volts, so this battery is actually holding extremely well with a 3 amp load, which is kind of what I suspected the way it's working. It uh, it only drops out fast on a, a real high current drain or the max setting on that Dyson uh, vacuum cleaner. So extremely well balanced, so that's shocking, but... um. I'm going to let this run at 3 amps for a little bit. And we'll see which one drops off and we'll be right back. Back now after about 10 minutes of running. We still don't have any bad players here. All of them somewhere around 3.4. Pretty balanced. So we'll let it keep going. Okay, so I just cut the test. The voltage dropped pretty quick. So we go across here. We got 2.9, it's recovering a little bit, 2.7, 2.7, 2.7, it bounced back pretty quick. So I believe, even though the cells held up pretty good on a slow discharge, I believe we're just seeing that all these cells have just lost some capacity, so it don't really hold up well on the max anymore. So my next step, if I thought it was cost effective, will be to replace all the cells. So replacing all the cells will probably help this pack that's, you know, seven years old. We'll probably get it back in full operation. But one thing you can't overlook is Amazon has these batteries here. And this is actually a 3,500 milliamp hour. Of course, I haven't tested to make sure it is the 3,500 milliamp hour cells in it. But it says it's an upgrade, and it comes with two filters as well for around $30. So 
if you already had the cells, which I do have some 1300 milliamp cells, I could, I could get this one up to probably being close to new, like new. But I figured I would give this battery here a try and just see how it works. So I have to test this uh, this new battery out. It seems like it's going to work really, really well. So that actually might be a good option since this battery is very difficult to get into. But I just thought it would be interesting to look inside of this battery and test it. But I, I took this uh, heat shrink off here in case you're uh, interested. That's a little 15 amp fuse there in line. Um, a little bit closer look at the BMS board there. And it does have components on both sides. The case, as we noticed, it had six catches, two on the bottom, two on the top, two on the sides to get that to slide out. It also had that catch there to slide the top off. The first Dyson vacuum we ever owned. But yes, yeah, the older DC35. It still works really well. So it was definitely worth spending 30 bucks on and getting the um, aftermarket battery off Amazon. So. And this one in particular does take the Type A battery. So um, the Type B actually has a little bit different connection point here. So if you like that look inside of this Dyson battery today, please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.